12,204. And again, I forget to look at the proper name for the number. I mean, it's a proper name, but I know that there is more there is a better name, better name for this number which I can use. I mean 12,000, I can use 12 without 1,000 probably. I can say 12, let's say 1224. Okay, 1224. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll see it. I definitely see it, but again, I forget because it's not so important. But well, it, it, well, this, this is already the third day I start talking and I see that I forget something. Well, but <laughs> I remember something. <laughs> as well <laughs> I, I don't only forget things I can also remember so and I remember a verse which I can use today in uh, my self-talk and why not I decided to prepare myself a little bit for self-talk and learn just to warm up my brain just learn one uh, one small verse for, for line today it's, today it's uh, Robert Browning and I found uh, his uh, verses in this book, I took it from the library, an, an anthology of modern English and American verse. So, and I'm going to read this book, obviously, uh, page after page, every day, just one page, <laughs> maybe even less, or maybe one, one poem, one verse. And then I'll memorize something that I'll consider more or less uh, important or at least I will focus on something really interesting not on some stupid things but maybe uh, sometimes on stupid things as well because it's really interesting if I just can imagine that let's suppose that there are uh, how many pages are there? Uh, how many pages? a little bit more than 200 so uh, what can I do? if uh, every page consists uh, let's say uh, ten small blocks of verses, like uh, four lines, it's a block. Yeah, four, four, four lines is a block. So there's uh, about ten blocks. And if I, it's ten blocks on a page, ten page, one hundred blocks, one hundred blocks, one thousand, one thousand blocks, uh, there's about two thousand blocks of uh, this verse. Let's suppose that uh, Ten percent of them are are amazing blocks, <laughs> it's about amazing poems or whatever. So and it's about uh, 200, 200 blocks, and I can memorize these blocks quite fast. I mean, now it took me about <laughs> five minutes to memorize the whole block, and I uh, found it in the internet. I heard the correct pronunciation of the block. <laughs> The stance, maybe it's called stance, okay, it doesn't matter. So, and perhaps I will learn every day small, small verse, uh, and I will not memorize, I mean, I will memorize it, but I put it in my short memory, then I use it in my self-talk, I repeat it uh, once, uh, maybe two times, like I will uh, repeat it there, and then I will repeat it in uh, my daily, uh, in, in this exercise, which I'm, I'm going to publish on YouTube, and in the internet. And then it was parting at the morning. A V morning? No, just parting at morning without V. Parting at morning. Uh, round the cape, round the cape of a sudden came the sea. And the sun looked over the mountain's rim. And stride was a path for go of gold for rim and the need of a world of man for me that's four lines just easy <laughs> so it's so easy to remember i guess i can learn like 10 lines but there's no need to do that because it's not necessary i can remember four lines and it's amazing if I do it every day, <laughs> some of them will be uh, better than others. And I can repeat, actually I can establish a habit and repeat these lines at, the, at every evening as well. Because it's quite easy, again, if I can remember it right now, if I repeat it a few times, uh, talking, 
rehearse of them in front of the camera, making a rehearse in front of the camera, then perhaps I will be able to remember them at evening. Let's suppose uh, after brushing my teeth once. And if I repeat these uh, poems two times every day, it's like maybe next day I can repeat the same poem and uh, then start learning new one. And when I learn new one, I can repeat both. And in the same way, I can just uh, establish one sequence and memorize like hundreds of poems, which I did in Russian, actually. And it was quite useful for learning language and grammar and all this stuff. And especially learning the style, how to write in a sophisticated style. And amazing, amazing exercise. I'll, I'll certainly use it. Use it. But uh, today, uh, my video will be devoted to devoted to uh, discussing attention and just some random talks so i will not uh, focus on something particular there's will be that particular maybe it's the attention itself so i will talk about attention and most of the time i will just uh, encourage the imaginary audience the people who watched it on the internet that they will do the same, just practice their English. And the most important point here is just to start. So you need just uh, start, you shouldn't prepare yourself for self-talk and especially for recording yourself in the camera because in real life situations you are not uh, supposed to know what the dialogue uh, is going to be. And every time when you need to talk, yeah, probably you can know something a little bit about the topic but if you want to uh, be a participant in a real talk if you want to do it naturally in a natural way you have to just practice natural talk spontaneous talk and you have to be able to talk about everything in a spontaneous way and it's not so hard as you can imagine the point is that you just need to start so just uh, start record yourself and only then start to think what you can talk so just say a word, any word, doesn't matter what, what the word is. You can say something like, I don't know, <laughs> forest. <laughs> what is forest? And then you start thinking, why forest came to my mind? Why I uh, used this word? Or maybe uh, immediately you'll find some analogy. You can say, oh, it's not just a random or accidental word. I remember about forest because... And then you start investigate why you, be, why you remember about forest. And the, the useful thing to do it in English, not in your, your say a word in English, and then you start trying to remember about it in Russian. No, that's say a word in English and follow the path. So forest is, uh, <laughs> yesterday I started reading the book Forest Gump. It doesn't, it's not the, the same forest because there's two R. And <laughs> but uh, I said forest mostly because I uh, looked at this name uh, many times. And also, I often think about the forest. Today, uh, today's morning, I thought that it's interesting to make these videos in the forest. Now it's almost, uh, uh, it's almost uh, good weather. I mean, it's uh, sufficient for going to the forest and making videos there because I don't like to go to the forest in winters. It's cold, and I prefer to go in this uh, time in April. Now it's the beginning of April is amazing. Okay, I will, now I'm going to practice a little bit. Uh, to to warm up my articul, uh, articulatory system and then I'm going to record the video. So but 